my dear friend, should we cut away this horizontal branch or this diagonal branch? Which one will bear fruit and which one will not? Please leave your comment below. In the past, we have heard durian trees require 7 to 8 years to bear fruit. Nowadays, thanks to the agriculture's technology advancement in Malaysia, we are able to fruit as early as 3 to 4 years. One of the key aspects of early fruiting is with correct pruning. Besides early fruiting, pruning also has many advantages. Pruning can help develop a strong tree structures and also to maximize the fruit production and quality. Pruning also helps maintain the overall tree health and also less risk for leaf disease and insects attack. Durian tree pruning should be done as early as possible. An unpruned older tree will take longer time and effort to recover into a productive state. Pruning also should be done continuously and also on a regular basis. Pruning is actually a big topic, but we have brought it down with three simple pruning directions. Number one, always maintain the apical branch as a central leader. Number two, always encourage the branch to develop horizontally. Number three, remove any water shoots or dry branch. These three pruning directions is applicable for young tree as young as six months to old tree as old as 20 years old. Following these three steps will be beneficial for you for a long time. Before we dive into it, let's learn from nature first. Take a look at any durian trees and observe its tree architectures. This tree is about 2 years old. This tree is about 5 years old. This tree is about 10 years old. This tree is about 20 years old. In simple terms, durian trees have a distinct central vertical trunk and an apical branch on top. And the side branches, some are horizontal and some are somewhat in oblique angle. Within each side branch, there are also secondary branches. In some cases, the side branches are so oblique to almost vertical angle and trying to compete as an apical branch. If these side branches outgrow the apical branch, the original apical branch growth will be stunned and eventually dry out. Hence, the tree lost the overall balance stability. Apical branch should be protected because it regulates the growth state of overall tree. If not drying out, both the vertical side branch and apical top branch will grow together and form a distinctive Y shape. This Y shape structure has very high risk of breaking on the future. So for pruning direction number one, always maintain the apical branch as central leader. Prune away any side branches which look like same height or higher height than the apical branch. Prune the side branches so it is about one feet lower than apical branch. This tree will be a good example. The side branches are clearly higher than the original apical branch. Notice how the original apical branch are thinner than the side branch. Prune away the competing side branch so apical branch remains dominant. This tree is another example. Again, remove the competing side branches to let the apical branch remain dominant. The apical branch regulates the oxygen hormone distributions and promotes tree height growth. For pruning direction number two, we encourage the side branch to grow horizontally whenever possible. 
Why is this? Because the flower buds will mostly only appear on horizontal branches, especially for younger trees. We are now in early March and the flowers are almost into NTC stage. This is a good time to observe which branches are blooming flower buds and which branches are not. As we can see here, most branches below 45 degrees are full with flower buds. Those branches above 45 degrees are not growing any flowers. However, their secondary branches are usually horizontal angle, easily full with flower buds. With that observation in mind, we understand flower buds mostly appears on horizontal branches. So the next time we see a vertical angle side branch, we will prune it away. Let the subsequent horizontal branches continue. However, when tree comes to bigger ages, the vertical angle branches may grow flower buds as well. We can see from this 20 years old tree, it has flower buds on vertical branches as well. To maximize productive branches, side branches are encouraged to grow horizontally. As we can see from this tree, the vertical side branch has been pruned. No worries, the secondary branches will most likely be horizontal angle and grow flower buds as well. This is another example. We are removing the vertical side branch. Now is a good time to discuss tree side branches growing habits and tree crowns shape. For different durian varieties, there are different tree side branch styles. For example, Mosanking usually are intermediate side branches, while Blackthorn usually are spreading side branches. This is one of the reasons why Blackthorn fruits earlier than other varieties, because Blackthorn naturally has more horizontal side branches, even without much pruning effort. For pruning direction number 3, remove water shoots and dry branches. This is quite straightforward. As you can see, these are examples of water shoots and dry branches. Remove those and you will find the tree inner space is spacious, where there is good air circulation and sunlight penetration. This is important for healthy plant growth and leaf disease prevention. For best practice, we prune the tree once a year. For older trees, the pruning activities are usually carried out before fruiting seasons. This concludes the basics of durian tree prunings. We have more exciting episodes in the future.